Hello, Iku-san. Thank you Hello, very much Iku for joining us today. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me. No, thank you very much. And thank you to everybody today for this online talk and demonstration um, about the art of Kintsugi, which is our first uh, public Kintsugi event um, to be held at Japan House. Uh, if you're enjoying what you see today, uh, please do anything, any comments on, on uh, social media. We have uh, hashtag Japan House London, hashtag Museum From Home, and please tag us at Japan House LDN. We have a few housekeeping rules. So please note that your microphone and webcam will be disabled for the entire duration of the event. Uh, Iksan and, and I will be, be speaking. Uh, please use the question and answer feature to type in your questions. That's at the bottom of your screen, it should be. Um, that will be moderated by uh, people from Japan House all the way through. So please send your questions in at any time and we'll leave some time at the end especially dedicated to uh, questions for Iku-san and there may be some time during as well so please do keep them coming in. Um, please note that the contents of this event uh, will be recorded and may be shared afterwards. We're also uh, live streaming on Facebook so if you're watching on Facebook thank you very much indeed. Your screen should look like one main screen on the left whereby you have uh, the webinar instructions at the moment and then on the right hand side of your screen you should have uh, small video panels with Iku-san and me. Um, my name is Simon Wright, I'm the Director of Programming at Japan House and we're delighted to be able to welcome our special guest today Nishikawa Iku from Oxford. Thank you very much for coming. Um, Iku-san, you are from Kochi, yes, originally in Shikoku, yes, is that right? Yes. That's right, yes. I'm, and I'm Japanese. <laughs> but you're living in Oxford now, so yeah. that's wonderful. We can do it in the same time zone. That's mm -hmm. very helpful. And um, you first became uh, interested in Kintsugi, I read here, uh, through working with Shikoku. Is that yeah, correct? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, what happened is uh, I am not uh, Urushi and Kintsugi kind of artist. Nine, uh, 2013, we, I, I, I mean, we, my husband received a uh, phone call from Japan and then why, why can't you something uh, explore the Urushi and then Kintsugi stuff in UK. So we started approaching with a lot of people including you <laughs> and uh, so uh, because so inter by you introduced to where Daiwa maybe Daiwa Foundation mm. and uh, where did we go and then we know Ashmorian Museum in Oxford very well and uh, the Tokyo that just, just happened Tokyo bike so we did three public uh, event at that time, I didn't know how to use. I know, of course, what is a kintsugi is, but I know it's very traditional and very complicated work. So I'm never ever going to touch that area. But while doing this uh, public prom promotion and uh, demonstration and lecture, everything, we, uh, uh, we had to invite two craftsmen from Kyoto, and I was sitting next to them and then watching the, how they are fixing, just for curious. But actually, they didn't use traditional material. They used epoxy glue, epoxy putty, and then speed up all, how to say, repair process, which usually takes one plate, takes up about one month or two months but they did within, uh, sometime within three hours. And uh, sometime, uh, anyway, sometime within three hours. When, while watching the, their work, I thought, ah, I can do it. And then I started learning, but actually by myself. And 
following year, uh, we did a big event with the uh, where Pitt Rivers Museum mm -hmm. in Oxford, and at uh, that time maybe embassy. Did we do embassy? Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah, with a uh, so finally we got together and then. Uh, and uh, we did a big, again, another big event in the uh, Pitt Rivers Museum. And then, again, I was sitting down next to them, the two craftsmen, and then I, again, was learning. So, what I learned is, uh, today I'm going to demonstrate the modern kintsugi, which is quite popular already in Japan. And, uh, this is a kind of uh, beginning, how do I say, uh, starter. It's very good for starters who want to do the kintsugi. Even still, I'm using this method, mixing with traditional way. Okay, so, yeah. so, so this is extraordinarily accessible then. It's, it's something yeah. that we can, we can all learn to do if we've never done it before. And I'd like to stress that this is, this is the first uh, that we're, we're of, of a series of uh, events we will do, do about, about Kintsugi. Mm -hmm. And I, I think we should probably tell people as well what Kintsugi is. Um, oh, yeah, fast. <laughs> I, I have an idea, but I, I'd like to ask you, what, what, is, what is Kintsugi to you? What is it? Uh, uh, if you Google, of course, there's a lot of information, YouTube as well. So what's the kintsugi? Is? Uh, king is gold, tsugi is joining. Basically, using uh, how do you call it? fixing broken plate with a, uh, a kind of decorator with a gold line. Then doesn't need to be gold. Just you can fix anything with using. You see, this one hasn't got gold yet. I see. So I don't. I don't know why it's, we uh, no started is about uh, four hundred years ago. We used we have to say we used to fix the plate using with this resin called urushi for, I don't know, 2000, 3000 years, since 2000, 3000, when we discovered Urushi. It's a kind of ancient guru. Uh, this one, maybe we could speak more. And uh, after, so the tea ceremony is getting booming. Japanese, not only Japanese, a lot of people started using the gold to decorate. So not, uh, these guys, I mean, not, hide the break but you decorate even emphasize the break using gold or something metal precious metal play uh, metal line so maybe nowadays a lot of people thinking talking about some um, wabi sabi approach how they call it not meaning of the kintsugi repair. I'm not, but I'm, I don't talk about the philosophy. <laughs> I'm just a fixing right? <laughs> you better. Uh, well, but I, I like that approach. <laughs> you, you better. Talk. I like that approach very much because a, a lot of a lot of things are written, as you say, about kintsugi. As as if it as if it's it's very mystical and and it's it's not necessarily so so alien. Mm. It's something that is very attainable. Mm, this yeah. idea of repairing something, repairing, yeah, and that if it has been damaged, it's part of the history of that of of that object, and and yeah. that's okay that, yeah. that it was broken once. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I all of our our viewers at the moment are are seeing. Uh, various examples of kintsugi, which mm -hmm. are they kintsugi that you have made? Uh, yeah, and uh, back, you mean back, I don't know how to find it's a background, yeah. They are all my yeah, work. Very, very That's all of your work. Yeah. So it shows yeah. the variety of 
of objects that can in fact be repaired yeah. using this technique. Mm -hmm. So Wonderful. it's a, I don't know how to describe it. We call it like a keshiki, part of the character of a plate or cups. Now, just like wrinkles. Yeah. <laughs> For aging. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not you. Yes, not you. That one is, uh, how can I say? Aging is not a bad thing, uh, especially like this kind of object which you, you are using every day. Now, after you put the gold, I don't use every day anyway. <laughs> So shall we, shall we, shall we start? Yeah. Shall we start the demonstration? Yeah. Do you think? So I'll just let everybody know while Iku is uh, making sure uh, that we can see what she's going to do. We're going to, she's going to share yeah. her workspace with us all. So fingers oh. crossed everybody that. Um, Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We should. We should. Does it work? Work is it working? Yes, I can see. I can see it. Uh, quite a big. What's happening? So there's quite a there's quite a lag. Yes, there is, isn't there? Shall we try it again? Shall we try again? Yeah. Let's just see. We'll have one more go. So just to let everybody know that we linking up all this technology has uh, has its downsides sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. We know that if we try and reset it, it might well work and there might not be such a large lag uh, between the movements that Ikusan actually makes and those that are shown. OK, we're back on screen again, Ikusan. Yeah, now it's working. Yeah, great, great. No, 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 I have to do it now. <laughs> yes, it's working fantastically. Thank you. So today we're going to do, I'm going to show, it's not traditional. Unfortunately, if somebody's been waiting for the traditional way, but you can't finish within uh, half an hour. So anyway, this is the starting point, me as well. And also and anybody can do. So that one is quickly, I will show you. But mind, even, oh, just a minute. mind, even I said within half an hour, but actually with using this uh, me, uh, technique, method, still I'm taking one month to finish one plate because there's a lot of uh, hidden, how to say, uh, how to say, hidden thing, uh, things that you have to use, hidden technique, not technique, how to say. Hint. So today, don't think about the perfect, expect the perfect job. This is a quickly showing how to do. So here's one plate broken, and as you see, it's a chip. So I'm using epoxy to fix first. first this is epoxy resin, yes? Yeah, epoxy two, resin. Two part epoxy yeah, resin. First, Actually, is there a is there a list? Sorry, when if people are interested, for example, in the kinds of materials that you use, mm -hmm. I know that you have your own website. Yeah, I think is, if you go to my website, I'm one step, one by one step. What you can see on the photo, what I'm do, I did, I'm doing here. Fantastic. So check okay. my website. Thank you. So I think I, I will ask you as we go along what, what materials you're using. So at the moment you're using epoxy resin. Yeah. So two part epoxy resin. And uh, mix very well. Then here. Oh, just I need glasses. <laughs> Not this glass. Okay. So put them here, maybe on the surface, on the section, very thin application. And
Oosh. By using epoxy resin, what what level of repair are you are you expecting from this? You, you know, you mentioned that there was uh, an, another technique, an older technique mm -hmm. that people associate with kintsugi, and this is a, a more a more modern uh, variation. What, what level of repair is one able to expect from mm -hmm. this? When I fix uh, like antique, sometimes materials is uh, not strong enough uh, to this kind of, you know, you can see a uh, pushing very hard. And yeah. later on, you will see, I have to remove this. Can you see this glue? Maybe a bit difficult to see. There's excess glue. Yes. I have to remove with uh, actually cutter. Okay, a knife, yeah. Yeah, knife. So sometimes some uh, uh, plate, s some uh, ceramic, maybe it's too weak to use a cutter. So in that case, I use uh, traditional uh, material. And uh, because in that case, you don't need to use a cutter and you can, you, uh, you can remove very carefully can say you care carefully mm -hmm. work when you remove the traditional material another so one at, yeah at the moment you're applying pressure yes you're yes. you're holding <laughs> sorry you have to wait keep talking <laughs> <laughs> while you're pressing that down yeah this is a five minutes epoxy party so actually okay. have to wait five minutes here but while waiting for, I can also remove the one point. Where is it? Uh, Sometimes I use acetone as well. So remove with acetone. And again, some ceramic, they don't like acetone. So in that, in that case, maybe I have to use traditional material just takes uh, one week to set the traditional I mean glue. Okay. But traditional glue also make uh, some uh, uh, stain onto the ceramic as well. So you have to really have to think which is better traditional way or even antique better maybe use epoxy glue. If you're using epoxy resin, as you are now, is it safe for food utensils? Is it safe? No. To... <laughs> no. But actually, dentist said, no, once it's set, it should be fine. They said, so <laughs> food is safe. I want to talk later on. But even the traditional material wasn't uh, uh, prove, uh, proven as a food safe how can I say, regulation. We use sand and stone powder, uh, sawdust, every kind of safe thing. Uh, how to say, it's not food safe, you know. Then finally you have to seal with urushi, tree sap, that is a food safe. Okay, maybe fine. Shall I start? Okay. Then now it's already ready. You know, break is already fixed. So if it is used traditional material, you need to wait for week, three days like this in a box. So meanwhile, maybe you need to feed your children and look after your partner, then forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, this one is putty. That's putty? Yeah. Okay. Again, epoxy putty. So two parts mixed together. And the setting time is uh, two hours to half day. Okay. So depend, on, depend but the putty which I'm using, better not to say anything, but it's very easy to use. Mm, this one, eh? 
so in your studio in in oxford you mm -hmm. would you would normally you 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 repair uh various ceramics from from do you accept orders do do people come to you, oh, yeah, do you, yeah. do you yeah and you teach as well yes is that right oh sorry yeah you basically i'm a teacher i'm a I'm a Japanese language teacher, so I'm good at teaching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not artist. So first I started teaching, teaching the how to use this material and how to fix the plate, so called modern kintsugi. Mm -hmm. But gradually the order came in and uh, I started, uh, yeah, why not? Because uh, interesting like my some client said i uh, my daughter made my this plate when she was eight or something and now she is 18 but as soon as she made it the plate it's broken and since then 10 years it's in the box so the mom learned about the kintsugi and then she said can you fix it and it was really shattered so many pieces and even one piece missing but it was really delighted to be asked that can you fix this one by my my daughter's how can I say, mem not memory but uh, she made for her for her but didn't want it <laughs> broke immediately and then 10 years she kept in the box so and you know to repair cost a lot but she says she doesn't mind she want to anyway she want to fix it and i said how about this one piece missing she said it doesn't uh, keep the missing part empty because that is also a kind of their memory. That was interesting. So it wasn't perfectly round, it wasn't perfectly round plate when I finished. But how can I say, there's a lot of memory on this, on that plate. So mm -hmm. like, like this, it's very interesting, how can I say, to fixing and to listening the what, why they want to fix this kind of, I mean, it's not, you know, not precious at all, right, and spending a lot of money. But priceless, really. Yeah, it's priceless. They are, it's very history and the memory. Done. Wonderful. We have a question here from, from, from Selena, mm -hmm. um, who's uh, with us today. Thank you, Selena. Do you, the question is, do you have to be familiar with pottery and ceramic materials before no. trying kintsugi? No. No. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. If you are interested, in, just to start. Oh, if you, you and then if you don't like it, just stop it. <laughs> we have another question there as well. Are there any pieces that are ever beyond fixing? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 100 pieces. I'm not doing it. Of course, somebody can do if you pay. Or well, somebody, maybe I can do. But, you know, cost a lot. And then when I quote, of course, they stopped. <laughs> that that's depend on always. So, if you ask somebody, cost. And uh, yeah, just balance. But if you want to, you can fix it. A hundred pieces, I better, I will recommend using the traditional way. Okay, next step. So here I it, uh, fit the, the putty here. Then actually, I also fill all this line with putty. When okay, so let, should we just go go over um, briefly again? If you could just hold it there, actually. Mm -hmm. So what you've done is you've fixed one piece 
uh, onto the, the the larger piece with epoxy resin. Yeah. Then there was a small chip, and the chip, chip yeah. you filled with putty. Yeah, putty. And, and then, then you you had the liquid. What were you doing with your with the uh, liquid? This one is just water. It's like a clay. This this particular this putty, I won't say the name of the putty, but it's a it's very easy to get you know online and or well, any shop. So it's a like a clay. You can use water while okay. it's how can I say it's not set. Hmm. Understood. Thank you. Then this one I'm not doing today because it takes a very long time. So this gap you have to fill with the putty as well. And then after you fill the putty, da -da! here it is. Sorry, play the okay. color changed. <laughs> <laughs> So, fill the putty, fill the old crack with the putty uh, here. And then, after that, where is, where is it? Sanding. So, make it smoother. So, you sand, you sand more uh, to make it smooth. So, it's not really properly sanded, but anyway, today just. This is a very fine sandpaper, is it yeah. you're using? Yeah, not to use, not to how can I say, damage the glaze. So, sanding. Then, now it's the time to listen. So, as uh, Simon, Simon asked me, is a, uh, somebody asked how is a food safe? You asked me. Maybe. Yes, that's right, yes. It's not food safe. Okay. Dun, dun. Then, what you have to do is you have to seal this epoxy. So what you use is a urushi, so ancient type of glue. So here is a urushi, red urushi. Then today I want to make it thinner. So, if you wanted to fix a plate, for example, that you wanted to use for food, mm -hmm. what, what materials would you use? Oh, that's enough. So, this one is fine. As, as long as you seal with urushi, because urushi is food safe, when, when it's set. So, once it's set, using the urushi, the lacquer, the, the urushi from the, yeah. the urushi tree, Oh, yeah. Once that is sealing yeah. everything, then yeah. it's food safe, yes? Yes, you know this one. Can you see it too dark? Um, so you're showing us an urushi bowl, yes? Yeah, urushi bowl. Hmm. This is it. So it's wooden, wooden bowl uh, sealed with urushi. Not only sealed, but it's kind of, how to say, treated with urushi. So this is a food safe. No. So if you have any questions, we we won't we won't go over them every time here today. But if you have any questions, anybody about materials, they are listed on uh, Ikusan's website, um, which is www.kintsugi.oxford.com. <laughs> Somewhere. And you've got some step-by-step -step guides on how to how to repair various broken objects, and also the uh, list of materials that one can use. Yeah, uh, I can't find it. Try this one. So now, paint. Can you see? No, it can't do. It's a little dark. Yeah. Hmm. Unfortunately, I haven't got good light here. You should. That's, that's, it's, it's, we can see, I think. Yeah. So you're wearing gloves, I notice. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, Urushi is a uh, made from tree sap. Hmm. And uh, quite how do you call it? thing agent inside. So if you have a if you are allergic, but most of the time you have a uh, it's quite strong. So if you are allergic, definitely allergic to the kind of say plant. Definitely, you should wear glove. So this is this is this is natural natural urushi that yes. you're using. Uh, yes. Yes. No, I won't say not, not natural. Yeah, true urushi. There's a true lot urushi. of yeah, lot kind oh. of fake urushi in the uh, market. So when you get urushi, please check if it is real one. Also, nobody say if it is real urushi, have to be fresh. So keep in the refrigerator or even I keep in the freezer. One freezer drawer is a uh, only for Urushi for uh, in my kitchen. So this is what I always uh, tell my tell my student when you buy Urushi, check if it is true real Urushi. Of course, you can buy from me, and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think that's safe as well, isn't it? Because you 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 know what oh, yeah. materials are needed. So yeah, and uh, and also fresh. Uh, by the way, fake urushi is not food safe. So fake urushi is not food yeah, safe. I'm not a fake urushi. It's sometimes called the new urushi or something. I see. So even you seal like this, don't use for water uh, for food. Are um, can can these? Um, Jason has asked us a question here. Mm -hmm. Can uh, can these items once they're repaired with with uh, using the kintsugi process, are the objects watertight with both this method and the older method? Uh, base, I won't say watertight. Eventually, from the crack, water comes in. So it's not really, how do you call it, uh, perfect material for food for 100 years. Just think about it, it's already broken. Mm, means, okay. uh, yeah, things will fade. Just to enjoy the fading. And when once, uh, when it breaks again, you throw away or fix it. Like this in the Kyoto, uh, my teacher also fixing plate like a. Uh, 100 years easily, 200 years old, 300 years old. Keep, like it's kept using in the restaurant. And then their plate will return after 10 years or 20 years later, they return to the uh, repairer. And they fix it again and back to the restaurant. So think about it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not a uh, plate, is not the eternal one, eternal thing, or nothing is eternal. Sometimes it breaks uh, and uh, you fix, uh, and then again, the plate uh, might be break, uh, uh, how to say, started uh, fading, breaking, uh, fading, or um, might, be bre might break. Uh, so just have to accept it. Sure. We have some questions about urushi, actually. 
-hmm. A lot of people are interested. So how do you know it's real Urushi? Just have to ask the maker, trust to the maker. Okay. <laughs> they won't say, they won't have to say, cheat. As, as long as you ask for Japanese maker, it's not, it's not like a thousand makers available in, in Japan. So ask them, uh, is a real one, is a food safe? And then they will say, yeah, this one is food safe, that one is not food safe. Okay. So your urushi is coming from Japan, yeah? Yeah, from Kyoto. Okay. Mr. Sato-san, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and does, does urushi, this is from Gianfranco, uh, um, who's asking, does urushi last for a long time or does it expire? Expires. It's a half, it's a fresh, have to be fresh. So I don't understand that people selling just uh, urushi because it have to be in a freezer or a refrigerator. Uh, usually shelf rice, they make I might say shelf rice three months because okay. uh, never know what kind of uh, circumstance, I mean, the temperature they are keeping. Uh, that would see this kind of Uri's tube. Oops, sorry, here. Mm -hmm. so, so this this is yeah. this is the sap, isn't it? It's the sap of a tree. Yeah. So is it mixed with any other liquid or is, is uh, it I don't know exactly. It's uh have to be dry. How can I say water have to be ev evaporate from the from the sap and then actually it's not from the cutting tree, tree cut and then it come out, come out. They are producing the tree itself, producing urushi inside of the tree before uh, from the sap. That's interesting. I can't really describe in in my English, but if you cut the urushi tree, even if you have in a garden, it doesn't produce this glue. You have, there is a way to cut the tree and then the cut tree, a kind of tree started crying and then they produce this glue. Some kind of enzyme work inside of the tree. So there is a people who learn how to cut the tree to make a good urushi from the tree. So after tree last just tree, 15 years grow in a mountain, the tree, I mean, we, they grow the tree. And uh, one summer they cut the, the bark and then started pro the tree started producing urushi. After three months or four months collecting the urushi, and uh, the tree dies. I mean, we we kill the tree. So we have actually Japan House has on our website we have a, ah, a story yeah. about lacquer mm -hmm. and so there's 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 some information about lacquer on our website. Yeah if people are interested about that. Yeah, yeah, I, it's always interesting, I think, to, yeah. to discover how valued urushi trees are in Japan, yeah. especially yeah. now, whenever I've been to a garden or a, a piece of land which has gone a little bit wild, I've, I'm often told that, oh, and the people who used to live here used to cultivate urushi trees and... <gasps> And really? people are very proud of, of this, this, this idea because so few people do it now. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now it's a, there's a, I'm going to say, that we, they are, people are, I'm going to say, asking to grow, br uh, bring up the young urushi, make urushi kata. I don't know how to call it, urushi kata. They teach us to the young people how to make a urushi from the tree. Okay, now, I'm not sure you can see. So I have a box here. Have to yeah. keep this plate in the box. 
so here's a here's a cup and you put the water in the cup and keep the display into the box so you've got a cup inside the box yeah and you've put your 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 ceramic that you are mending Prince, you're putting yeah. that inside the water yeah inside the box and uh, because the urushi need humidity and some temperature to set the so now wait a little bit uh urushi to set the so sorry so the your 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 ceramic that you've repaired is next next to the next to the water cup yeah. in I yeah, see. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. And uh, the box will uh, kind of uh, not uh, hum is uh, have a humidity inside, uh, and uh, urushi is a uh, setting inside of the box. Uh, need humidity to uh, to set the urushi. So you can leave it like this for a week. Uh, and then use it but today i will show how to decorate with gold powder unfortunately i can't use 24 karat gold because that takes a long time to set and polish and varnish and every kind of job you need so today i'm going to use just brass powder pay attention brass powder isn't the food safe Okay, so once thank you. you apply the brass powder, I think better not to use for anything like a liquid or acid, acidic food. Then, does does one always have to uh, cover the urushi with gold powder? Uh, no, it's just leave it with urushi as it is. It's fine, okay. perfectly fixed, and then. Perfectly food safe. Today I only used once application. Usually I do the three or four times application. Like here, it's a, here is a fixed, but I he, here hasn't fixed yet. It, so I maybe twice, three times black urushi. And now I have to put the red urushi and the sprinkle gold powder. But you can leave it as it is. Another is there one. any reason that you've used black urushi and then red urushi? Uh, just your preference. Here, can you see it? It's uh, it, uh, this ball shattered. Yeah. And then here, this part, uh, I couldn't fit into the uh, gap. So I used this part that white one and fill it and after that I pushed all the antique plate, uh, broken plate piece into here then this part is actually uh, I did only urushi finish because if you put the gold here it's kind of it's no good taste so I just thought ah better leave black so this one called uh, yobi, Yobitsugi, I think this one Yobitsugi. Yobitsugi? Yeah. And another yobitsugi. one. Yeah, yobitsugi. So it's, the, it's the idea of, 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 of repairing it yeah. uh, using, using the, the, the lacquer resin as yeah. well. Understood. So you've used a black resin there, a black urushi there, black urushi, specifically yeah. because the ceramic piece you were mending is also black and you yeah. want it to, to match in that respect. Yeah. So I thought, yeah, black is nicer. Another another yogitsugi here. Ah, uh, yes. One piece missing and uh, well, completely is gone. So I put the, this one's modern chawan. This one is from, you can see from the back and front and back and front, uh, both sides. This one. Also, I used the, the epoxy putty 
And then finally, I used, of course, gold powder. Another one. This one. If you use gold powder all over, again, it's not good taste. And also, you need a lot of gold for this small, cheap plate, uh, cup. So, you use, uh, what's the, what, how did you, I do? I did black base, next one is red, and then transparent urushi. And finally, I paint and then splash the gold. So, not only fixing plate, so you can play around all those materials using materials, just, to you, just to your, your imagination and technique as far as you have certain material you can do this kind of job this is a typical you know as you often see in, on a uh, google image typical gold finish uh, kintsugi plate can you use um other other materials you mentioned gold of course and you, you've also mentioned brass powder is that yeah. right yeah Which you're using? often i don't have do i have sample i have often i do silver this one is silver how do you say oxidized already Yes. Became black. Silver. And also, this one is also, yeah, silver. Often I use silver as well. And uh, uh, pewter. Pewter. How about mica? Mica, <laughs> yes. So there's a lot of material available and then the brass powder is a, uh, you can buy anywhere as far as you don't mind, how to say, just for the decoration. You can buy brass powder in an art shop. You mentioned the different colors of urushi as well. You yeah. mentioned um, black, red, and transparent urushi as well. Yeah. Are they essentially the same material? The basic uh, material, base material is the same. Then put some pigment. Understood. Okay, thank you. That's a question from Gianfranco again. Thank you very much. It's okay. a good question. And Kintsugi uh, is a makie artist work. So makie artist uses a lot of color of Urushi. So you can paint, you can, you don't need to decorate, you can just paint any colored, colored Urushi here. Flower and trees and bunny or something. Mm. So the makie, of course, makie is a form of decoration or lacquer decoration using gold, gold powder mostly. Gold powder. Yeah, not only gold, it's a Urushi picture, like a Urushi draw, paint, Urushi drawing. Makie, yeah, makie might be a you need uh, maybe metal powder. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah, maybe gold <laughs> and silver colouring of um, very delicate. Yeah. I better not to talk too much. I don't know anything about Makia. I do so much either, but... Uh, <laughs> so, maybe a little bit early, but... Yeah, better <laughs> splash powder. Yeah, it is. Everybody, back to the... This video, if you are in the toilet, come back. So you've let this, you've been waiting for the urushi to set? Yeah. And you've it's left it? completely set, half set, maybe surface. Only surface set, inside st still wet, because it's glue, have to be wet. So here's a glue, you know, you, you make a birthday card when you are small, 
、it's the, how do you call that? White, anyway, some,、uh, some kind of glue, and you sprinkle the powder. Yes. yes. Yeah, yes. it's exactly the same. So, here's an ordinary brass powder, and then here's a glue here. So, you splash. So, you don't smooth the urushi, you have painted the urushi in, and then you, you don't smooth it like you did before with the, the putty, for example. Uh, you don't sand the urushi down.、Uh, actually, I do. When、okay. I do the base、uh, urushi, because I paint three times. Okay. Each,、uh, each urushi of the surface、uh, I sand it. But、well, today we don't have time, so I do only one application. But when you do, when you start running urushi, Anyway, I, I, do, I said、uh, I, I start running Rushi three applications at least, and then each time you, you better, I mean, sand, sand, how do you call it? Yeah, smooth on the surface. Then I would say sand. So, while you're doing that, can I? Is it okay to ask some questions? We've got until the hour's up, we've got about five more minutes. Okay, five minutes. Yeah, any question?、Um, yes.、Um, somebody's asking Do we need to add the repaired piece in the oven? Do we need to put it in the oven at the end of the process?、Uh, my, this way, I don't put it into the oven. Some people do, but I don't think it's the same technique. Some people, I mean,、uh, my teacher, he put it into the oven, but I don't know how he does it. Who, who taught you, actually?、Uh, uh, 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 Sato san? Shimode san? Shimode san. Shimode san, first Shimode san, I taught, I mean, not really teaching, I just made it. I made mistake, what's happening, or what, what kind of material I have to use, that kind of stuff. And then he mentioned eventually he is going to put into the oven, there's his way. But I won't do, of course, it's very scary. Yeah, <laughs>、okay. yeah. that's from a, that's a, that's a, that's a question from And then often also I, About the material, Sato san knows very well, so I, I'm, I always ask material question,、uh, send material question to Sato san. Sato san is. Thank you. Is, is, is gold powder expensive?、Uh, I think so. <laughs> Check so, how the gold is now. <laughs> Sure. So you've got quite a lot there, but you're not using well, very this is, much. This is grass. It's not gold. That's grass, indeed. Sorry. Yeah. But for, for, for what you're using at the moment, it's not, it's, not very, it's not very much, is it, actually, for one small.、Mm, one, small uh, if it, yeah, one small plate. So uh, first, uh, you have, even once you start running、uh, with brass, I would recommend immediately go to the、uh, gold powder. Or maybe silver. But have to be silver leaf powder, gold leaf powder. No, have to be. It's easier. Don't use coarse gold, coarse silver. It's quite really difficult. Still, I'm struggling. I can't do the perfect job. Take it down. Finished. Finished. Then put, in, put back into the box. And a little bit of polishing polish with silk when it's set.、Oh. And ready to use, a bit strange to use because you can't use for the liquid anyway if it is brass.
How many minutes? About maybe half an hour. I see. But in between, actually, you have to paint like three times and sounding. Okay, so what you've done for us today is in 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 a in a short time. Thank you so much because that's 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 wonderful that you showed us that process. And um, for normally you would, it would take. Yeah, even a brush coats? work. Three coats. Uh, so I I would say this this plate uh, even the brush work uh, because it's there's a waiting time as well. Yes. I would say to see. Ah, uh, yes, quickest two weeks. Okay. But so that including that, that waiting yeah. time for it yeah. to dry and for, yes. Mm -hmm. Drying time, waiting time, and then polishing time. But if you want to, you can with, you can do it within uh, you know, one, one, hour, one hour. We have a question here from Facilia asking, can we make these in our homes? Can we do it at home? Of course. <laughs> that that is what's my aim. Anybody can do it. Check my That's web. Cool. I'm selling the tool. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, am I? I say I'm not a really artist. There's a many a more many. I'm gonna say good artists in UK doing kintsugi and makia. So don't think about I'm a master or anything. I'm a teacher. I can teach. And uh, that is my starting point. This is my starting material, and then I started teaching. And I, I, do, I uh, yeah. the functionality it's, that you're able to 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 give here, that you're able to inspire people to do these things for themselves. Yeah, it's 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 wonderful. Thank you so much indeed. We have. Welcome. Thank you very much for inviting me. No problem. We have a couple more questions if you've got time, if you don't mind. Yeah, I have time. You have time. Tanya, who's been watching on Facebook. Thank you, Tanya. Um, she says it's brilliant. You're brilliant. So thank you. Um, what do you most love about Kintsugi? Uh, <laughs> oh, philosophy, how do you spell? Uh, like before, I said somebody has a long time broken plate. There's a emotionally attached. I'll show you mine starting point. This is it. <laughs> and oh. then fixed and they and uh, they are really pleased. That is a, a kind of yeah. I did it kind of feeling. So I like it. So there is this emotional attachment to yes. things and the fact yeah. that they've been repaired is 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 something that you like about this yeah like here five five euro souvenir but just broken so i kept it for a long time uh in a box and then this is a start my starting point this is a fast repair i did but i did okay. many how's that i did fast repair was brass and i didn't like it so i took it off removed and then now became gold We have a, a lovely comment here from Lynn. Um, we've got so many things coming in. It's just disappeared off my screen. Um, Lynn says, uh, she's glad you mentioned that even precious ceramics repaired with Kintsugi will have to be fixed again years later. Yeah. As the repair wears down. Mm -hmm. It makes one think differently with objects that we value and how to re-love them again through oh, yeah uh, an interesting story is a uh, when i did a uh, when we did uh, the first uh, demonstration and repair workshop uh, at tokyo bike in shoreditch in london somebody very fashionable product designer brought uh, a cup and then asked us to fix it and when it's ready he said uh, he didn't like the result. He think maybe this repair should be the, like an iPhone repair, have to be perfect. So don't, but, so we didn't argue, just we send, we, we refund the money, but 
don't expect, as Xi uh, Jinping said, uh, anyway, sometimes it's fading, already faded, uh, fading, how can I say, it's broken. And uh, you have to, you, uh, you want to ask somebody, what you want yourself, by yourself, and then fix it. So don't expect anything like a perfect iPhone repair. Just, uh, how do you say, uh, keep the so that fading, fading, how do you call it? Mm, mm, so Deteriorate. Yeah. And it's it's part yeah. of the life of the object. Yeah, life of the object, yeah. So, so just think this is your record, your history. So don't expect iPhone repair. <laughs> It's important to note exactly that it's that it that it's a, it's a, it's 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 an evolving repair and, mm -hmm. and, and that it's a temporary part of this particular object's life. Yeah. That is quite philosophical. You said you wouldn't talk about anything philosophical, but I think you have there. <laughs> <laughs> Something, yeah. Thank you very much indeed. I think Thank that is all we have time for today. Um We've been asked as well whether we will do a workshop like this when we get back to being open in Japan House. Mm -hmm. And I, well, I think the answer is yes, isn't it? We, we, we're, we're going to, to definitely do some, some Kintsugi workshops with Ikusan once we are able to safely uh, conduct these in Japan House. We've had an immense amount of reaction here. We haven't had time to answer not even a quarter of the questions, Iku-san. There have been so many coming through. So we, we will find a way of trying to, to get these questions out there. As I just said, to come to workshop. Uh, just to come to workshop. <laughs> but come to your, well, indeed. And, and, and also to look at your website, which is kintsugioxford.com and also have a look at the Japan House website. Um, thank you very much indeed. Um, just to let everybody know, if you've enjoyed this, please do uh, put your comments on social media using the hashtags uh, Japan House London, uh, hashtag Museum From Home, and tag us at Japan House LDN. We have two more workshops coming up. This isn't Kintsugi, this will be manga. So we have on Friday the 29th of May and also on the 12th of June with Kutsuada Chie. We have two workshops of uh, manga and on Tuesday the 2nd of June and the 16th of June we have uh, another two manga workshops with Elena Vitaliano both uh, award-winning and professional uh, manga artists and we're very very happy to have them as well once again Iku-san thank you so much for joining us it's been wonderful thank you very much and I'm so glad that we've been able to make the technology work and you've been able to <laughs> thank you very much uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. You take care. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.